guys welcome back look at my concoction of colors today now did you see the last spin pour that I did and I used these same colors but I did a straight pour and I really wasn't very happy with the results so I'm going back to my usual ring pour and turn the can the um, turntable as I pour so exactly the same colors made up the same um, this, I used the glue, water and GAC 800 mix, equal parts of that to my paint. So um, I'm going to put the black in first in one, same as I did, but not as much black. Like it really took over because the, the colour that goes in first um, is going to come out last. That's going to be your centre. So just remember that your center is small and if you put a lot of paint in it, it's going to take over and you're going to have a lot of black in the center. So put small amounts of color in first and then you can make your, your layers bigger as you go along. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first. It's got the white and then some pink and then the darker pink magenta still too thick this one I'm gonna add a splash of water there are all the um, Montmartre acrylic paints magenta is really thick I had to use less it's almost a two to one with the magenta really thick okay so there's that one now I'm gonna go with the next one because I've got pinks in that one I'm gonna go with blues in this one so let's do some turquoise and again not too much because you're going to see that in your middle section and then some blue and then a little bit of black I don't want the black to take over again I'm going to have less blue okay and then um, let's go with some yellow And then some pink and the magenta this is a five split cup I will link um, down in the description as to where you can get these gorgeous creatures did I spill Maybe not. All right, white again. And yellow. Pink. Magenta. And a little bit of black. Oh yeah, I was thinking, how did I get black in the bottom? I poured black in there first, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right. Black and then the phthalo blue. And then the turquoise. And then some white. So the colors that you're putting in now, once your cup's half full, the colors that are on top of that are just going to be the outside of your canvas and you're going to sort of tip them off. It's the bottom half of the cup that is going to be your center that you're going to really see. So those, that's I think what's important. No, don't put yellow next to black. Julie, no. Mm, I'll go with some more pink though. I know I've got pink in this one. Let's finish that off. So yeah, your layers in the top of the cup are going to come out first. They're going to spread to the outside, um, and I mean you will see them, but a lot of them you'll get will get just spun off. Now, what's this one got in it? I have to look down there. Oh, it's got the turquoise. Okay, and the blue. 
Did I put black in it? Mm, don't think so. It's good that you can see down the side of these cups because they, they're a little bit transparent. I'm going to go with some more turquoise. Try not to mix my colours up too much. Stick to the pinks in one and the blues in the other. They'll blend as they're coming out anyway. So I don't think I want to mix them too much. What's in the third one? Uh, yellow, pink, turquoise and blue. Let's just finish the blue off. And then what's in this one? Ooh, it looks like oh, it looks like a, white, a lot of white, isn't it? But I think it's just because I've poured it down the side that it looks more than it than it is. All right now, I'm just filling up these compartments now just basically with whatever I've got left as I said it's all going to go out to the edges anyway I am going to pour over my previous canvas that I'm not happy with I'm just going to pour straight over the top of it so how's that sound <laughs> yellow I'm going to put some yellow in the U. I don't know what's what now. I'm just filling them up. And you can have the rest of the blue. So if you're going to get yourself one of these split cups, I would advise you to get one of those little... Um, straw brushes or um, you know, like tiny little bottle brushes with the bristles that way you can actually get in there and clean them out when they get paint stuck on them I'm going to keep a little bit of the black just in case there's only a tiny bit left just in case I need to touch up my edges let's move that out of the way pick up my canvas so I've only just poured this one. I mean, even though it's been a, a few days on the video, between videos, but it's still wet. So I'm just going to pour straight over the top of it because I don't like it. I don't like you. No, I don't. Let me just clean my hands. All right, make sure that we're in frame again now. Um... There we go, that'll do. <laughs> I can't touch the camera with my dirty hands. Right, now this time I have moved the everything over so that I'm not reaching as far. And I'm going to, last time, last, last time I did a ring pour, I did it wrong. I'm going to do my ring in an anti-clockwise manner towards me. I'm going to turn the canvas in a clockwise manner away from me. Okay, let's see if I can do this this time. Oh, my arm's still sore. All right, here we go. Little circles. Now, the trick to a ring pour is to get nice and close to the surface so that your paint doesn't go wobbly, so that it gets nice and more like a ribbon like that. See? Because if you're up too high... When it comes down in the stream, it kind of wobbles. So for a beautiful, straight, thick rings, get as close to the surface as you can. How am I doing? I'm pouring anti-clockwise. I'm spinning clockwise. Oh, I'm doing it. And it's much easier for me to actually control this cup because I'm not going to be holding it for so long. I just love pink and yellow together. I just think they look so pretty. Colours together. Now depending on how fast you spin or you know how much you spin will determine your 
result at the end as well. And whether or not you move your cup, my hand's shaking. All right, let's get this paint out. You can see I did travel a little bit. I was in the middle and now I'm off to the side. I didn't mean to, it's just, you know, trying to hold the cup. And my hand's shaking. Oh my gosh, come on paint. It's hard, you know, well, I guess maybe not for some people, but I've just done this half an hour ago, hold my hand up like this. And um, <clears throat> holding your hand just in one position like this can be a little bit tricky. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. I gotta know right now. Right. Now, if you made a little bit of a boo boo on the end, you can get a little skewer. Oh, my hand's shaking. And just do a little circle like that just to finish it off, okay? So no one will know that you dripped a little bit or you made a little boo boo on the end. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm really loving these colours. This whole design of this wow now I think a lot of my paints down here I'm gonna have to kind of move it I like to move it move it move it back to the middle otherwise I'm gonna spin off all the good bits all right are we ready <gasps> I'm loving it better than this other one before anyway let's go it's gonna do a little spin first just to see what I like, what I don't like. Oh, it's moving already. Oh, but I'm loving it already. I'm, oh my gosh. Loving it already. I don't know why I decided to do a straight pour on the other one. I don't want to lose my end there. I'll try not to anyway. But I think if I spin any more, it probably will go. So you can still see these. Um, edges here because the base you know wasn't my usual thinner mix so that this top one glides over more easily because it was the original paint so that's why it's probably not going to um, spread as well all right I'm gonna have to go again if, if I lose that so be it but because I need to spin this to the edges it just has to be done and hopefully we're at the edges now Stop that. It looks like a big feather, like a bird tail or something. Oh, look at it, isn't it so pretty? And again, I had something in there and there, but it, it could be from the, the previous um, canvas because I had lumps in the previous one. See if we get it out with the tweezers. You know, sometimes it is better just to to leave them, like if you've got a little bit of a blob. Okay, no point fussing with it. Hey, wouldn't it be nice if I just dragged my skewer straight through that? Hey, would that be good? Would it? Would it? Would it? This little bit here, that jagged bit there, that. That's my head in. I'm just going to go one more time with the spin, okay? Let's see if I can just get that last little bit off. Did it go? It's going to be careful not to spin too much off because then, you know, you're losing that, that design that you've created. Wow, look at that. Wow. I haven't had one like that before. Normally I've got it, it's like quite curly. Um, but I haven't had one like this before. Maybe because I spun it correctly this time. No, don't fiddle, woman, don't fiddle. All right, let me just get my little stick and wipe underneath to catch those drips. I think this spinner's had quite enough spins now. I'm going to change this puppy pedal pad. It's done its day. You can actually see all the colours in this pour. 
I'm really happy with this one. I really like it. Let me turn it around so that you can see again properly. So oh, let me get my, my gloves off. Um, I can get my camera down and I'll take you down for a close up. I'm going to have to turn it around again, aren't I? Because now it's facing the wrong way. It's not as, not as bright. It never looks as bright as it really is in reality with the glare all right i'm just going to turn it around so that you can see it again from the front i think this is the this the front i would say now look at this down here reminds me of ice cream <laughs> i'll have to remember what i did like the layers i did i know i did white pink magenta in one and i did blues in the one next to it and then i did white yellow pink magenta so i'm getting those colors through there look at those stripes and then over here we're heading more into the black i like how the black's on the outside there and then look at this. So down here, let me show you down here again. Down here we've got the more turquoise. And then as we go up, I'm really going to have to stir a bit better so I don't get blobs. As we go up, we've got more of that phthalo blue showing up. Isn't it amazing, the colours that you get? Just amazing. And then it has this gorgeous curve so you're going up but then you go around like that and then you start coming back again there's the magenta actually we've got a dark stripe there's so much to look at i never noticed look at the dark stripes up through the center look at that Whee! it goes around i never noticed that and then over here we've got the turquoise with the white and then we're coming down into the magenta. Lots of magenta on this corner. I guess I didn't have to tip so much off, but it's a trade-off, you know. You tip more off and it opens up the rings that you've got. Or you don't tip a lot off, but then you keep more of the design on the outside, but you, your lines are closer together so they don't open up as much. So it's, it's a real trade-off. All right, have you seen enough? Are we done? <laughs> oh, I love this one. Glad I did it again. I was going to give up. And I went, nah, never give up, guys. I guess I didn't need that little circular bit at the bottom. Let's have a look at the sides real quick. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. What about this side? Actually, I don't need to move around. I can just do this, hey. Look at the sides. So pretty. Because the mix is relatively thick, even, even the sides stay in lines. Oh, that is so pretty. I love this turquoise and the pink together. Oh, love it, love it, love it. All right, hope you guys love it as much as I do. I'm going to get cleaned up. I'm going to do a resin next. <laughs> on my days off, get as much arty, crafty as I can in on my days off. Righto, guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay, bye for now.